Fishing Money. Darren here from fishingmoney.com. I wanted to um, show you guys something. One of my egg sinkers I made. Yeah. For your Carolina rig. This one's a one ounce. I have a few, few here we've been making for the family. And uh, actually for friends too. I've had some guys come out here and pick some up. We, uh, I mentioned this in a couple videos. We're running out of we're running out of fishing gear here in Vegas. I don't know if everybody else is, is experiencing that, but our big box store is completely out of weights. So what did we do? We started making our own. Check that out. That's a do it mold. Have any of you guys ever used these? So. I'll pull this out real quick, set it down here, pull that open so you can have a look. But what we do is with these molds is heat up the mold and heat up your lead. We got some lead that we um, acquired, some bird shot, and uh, later on we're going to go dig up the bullets out at the, uh, out at the gun range. Of course not while they're shooting. Yeah, we'll go dig them up and sift through the dirt and pull the lead out of there. And you can get a lot of lead out of there in just a short time. So anyway, this particular mold makes, uh, and that's what that wire's for real quick. This wire goes through the, goes through the mold so that when you open it up, it's going to fall. Anyway, I'll pull it out because it is going to fall. So that when you open it up, see that line right there? So it goes through the middle of the of the uh, leads when you pour so you put that wire in you pour then you pull the wire out and then you open this up and knock your leads out and uh, this one goes all the way from uh, geez, I don't even know if I can read it let's see 3 8 1 quarter I'm gonna guess that's an eighth so it goes all the way from an eighth all the way up to three ounce. Anyway, that's, this is fun. We've been pouring our own leads, having fun with that. It's always fun when you can make your own fishing gear, right? So put this away. We have a question on the board today. And that's uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to put the leads in this. The question is, you already know because you clicked on the video, right? What about bottom fishing? What's, what's bottom fishing? And uh, I got my notes here, so if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes. Uh, well, let's just talk real quick. Bottom fishing, what is it? Well, it's pretty simple, You're fishing on the bottom, right? Uh, there's different ways to do it. There's all different kinds of setups you can use on your line for bottom fishing and different types of weight as well. Some very different from the ones I just showed you. What I showed you is more for a Carolina rig, but you can bottom fish. We bottom fish here with Carolina rigs as well. Um, in the winter time, we, we, we fish for striped bass out here at Lake Mead by where I live. And in the winter time, the bass like to go down to the bottom. And actually in the summertime, they don't mind it as well because it's cooler down there. But for the most part in the summer, they like to be up on top of the water uh, chasing the shad. Uh, a lot of times in the winter we'll have a shad die off and the bass are down at the bottom also because uh, that's where the oxygen is. In the winter time when uh, water gets cold there's a thing called a turnover so your oxygenated water will turn over to the bottom and that's where the bass will be hanging out the stripers. So we'll, uh, we like to fish, I prefer fishing at night. Um, out there but we'll go out not too far off the shore on a boat just just deep enough to where we can get down deep and we uh, will drop uh, drop our just drop our weights you don't even need to cast just drop your weight down to the bottom and out here we fish with anchovies so we use cut bait and <clears throat> or shad and just drop your weight down to the bottom as soon as you feel it hit the bottom you crank it up a couple of cranks just to keep it out of the dirt and wait not very long usually if you're not getting a bite within five minutes then something's wrong reel it back in and check it out maybe they stole your uh, stole your bait and they can do that they're those bass are sneaky they'll grab your bait right off there and you didn't even know it sometimes especially when you're using two rods you might be paying attention to one rod and the other rod gets 
taken and you didn't notice it so yeah so you got to check it out quite often but so we'll use what's called a Carolina setup which is typically just a sliding weight on your line and then you'll have a bead in your swivel and then after your swivel you'll have your leader and a hook uh, sometimes two hooks we put we like to fish with two hooks because we're allowed to have two hooks on a pole here where I live uh, so yeah so sometimes we'll put two hooks and then two chunks of anchovy on there and uh, that's how we bottom fish out here but there's a lot of different ways depending on where you're bottom fishing let's say you're bottom fishing in a river where there's a pretty fast current uh, if I threw my Carolina rig out in a fast moving river it would probably just flow downstream and roll because I got that egg weight right it would probably just push it right downstream and especially when you got other anglers around you and and, uh, and uh, stuff that your line can get tangled in and stuff it can cause a problem so you might need to use something like a parent pyramid sinker instead of a instead of an egg sinker for bottom fishing that way you'll cast that thing out and because it's a pyramid shape it'll lay on the bottom and the corners will get caught on rocks and stuff and keep it from floating down the river um, there's also bottom fishing let's say you're drift fishing maybe maybe the river's not even running very fast but your boat you're in a boat and you're drifting so again you'd probably want to keep your weight up off the bottom or excuse me your your bait up off the bottom uh, some people will like what I would do in that case probably is just use my Carolina rig that's just me personally uh, and just do the same as I do on the lake just reel it a couple cranks up off the bottom but sometimes some people like to drag a weight on the bottom and there are specific weights that are long like a pencil long and skinny and you can tie that and then you would tie that weight on the bottom of your line and have your bait above that and then you could drag that weight across the bottom and not have your not have your bait dragging across the ground just the weight would be dragging across the ground um, so that's another way to do it there's lots of ways to do it but that's basically what bottom fishing is is finding a way depending on the circumstances that you're in finding a way to fish on the bottom of the reservoir or river that you're fishing in um, it works for a lot of different species of fish um, unless you're using a bobber to specifically stay on top for some reason or you're using uh, oh I just thought of another one a jig so again the bass are down at the bottom so if you want to use a lure instead of live bait or cut bait which live weight live bait works just as well as cut bait when you're doing that um, but if you wanted to use a lure then a jig would be the way to go because it has some weight on it you, Again, you can drop it to the bottom and then reel it up a couple cranks and if you're if you're drifting if you're anchored uh, You can use jigs a, a lot and there's a specific technique for jig fishing as well But basically that's bottom fishing in a nutshell. I'm sure I've skipped some stuff so if you guys are good at bottom fishing and you want to throw something in the comments below for us to read, that's great. I appreciate that. Um, I love to hear the stories too about your success with bottom fishing or any other kind of fishing for that matter. And I would say if you have a question, any kind of fishing question, put it in the comments below. You'll get some, of, some other people to help answer that question as well as, as myself. And... Um, if your question's a good one, I might even just make a video about it like this or uh, post a blog post on my blog, fishingmoney.com, uh, or both. That's what this video is going to end up on one of my blog posts. So uh, happy to hear your fishing stories on my blog. We have comments, so you can leave comments on there as well. Don't uh, forget to like and subscribe. We're going to have some more uh, answers to beginner fishing questions to help uh, the beginners get better at fishing. Everybody starts somewhere. We were all beginners at one time. And I know there's a lot of questions out there about different things, about how to do different things. So uh, if you're gonna head out and fish and you wanna up your chances of catching something, and uh, you know everyone has different circumstances wherever they go and dot time of year and what to use and what rod, and there's so many different variables. So how do you do it? 
just ask the question. Some, somebody will jump in and help you with it. And if they don't, I will. All right, fishermoney.com. Darren Ann's out. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.